Hello everyone, this is the first of the assembly videos for my 30 pound robot, um, Crippling Depression. In this video I'm going to be assembling the weapon block, which holds the weapon motors and um, everything else to drive the weapon. I'm going to start by installing the idler pulleys, which sit here, which um, add tension to the belt. For all of these assembly videos, I wanted to show you as much detail as I could, you know, without narration, just to kind of show you exactly what it's like to do the final assembly on this. And so largely this video is uncut and it has a lot of time lapses, so it might be a little bit more kind of long and drawn out than my typical videos, but I just wanted to show you everything that's involved. Next up, I'm going to assemble the motors and put those in place. I've already epoxied these up and also re-terminated them with um, shorter leads. For the um, epoxy, I just used a two-part epoxy that I mixed in some micro balloons into, which is just a really fine like glass powder, which um, helps add a little bit of bulk to it and gives it a little bit more structural integrity. These motors also have the upgraded shafts in them. They went from a six millimeter shaft to an eight millimeter shaft. And I have a whole video um, talking about how I removed the shaft and replaced it with a new thicker shaft. And um, check the description below for that video. Okay, so now it's time to add the two pulleys. And I have already um, kind of ground down some flats in these shafts for the pulleys. The height of these pulleys is very critical. There's not a whole lot of extra room, so they need to kind of sit right in the middle. So they need to stand off of the bottom a little bit, but not interfere with this top because that's where the armor plate goes over. Now it looks good. And of course I forgot to put on the belt, but it can kind of go in after the fact. This is a J-style belt. It's um, basically a serpentine belt. It's got four grooves in it that match up with the four grooves on the pulleys like that. Okay, so there are the pulleys. Now it's time to assemble the actual weapon hub. I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but the weapon block, the pulleys, and the hub were all made on my Tormach CNC. Those are all custom made parts. If you wanna know more about how those were made, check out the description below. I have separate videos for each one of those parts so you can see how those were made. The weapon right here attaches right down to the pulley, and I'm not gonna put that on yet until the very last step because the armor needs to go over and a couple things need to happen before that. So I'm just gonna temporarily kind of close this up so we can at least test out that everything is running the way it should. Well, 
what I want to do is I want to tighten this whole assembly down against the um, tapered roller bearing so that it's tight and there's no wobble, but if I tighten too much it'll bind everything. So the idea is you just tighten it just enough but not too much, and then you add another nut over top of the other one and then cross tighten them against each other and then they won't back out. I decided to use one of these flanged hex nuts instead. It's probably a better idea to use that. So everything feels pretty smooth. The last piece that I need to put on is this little um, 3D printed piece, which actually goes here, which just kind of um, keeps stuff out of here and also um, ultimately holds the battery in place. So I'm just gonna bend these out of the way. And then this slides in like that. And screws in from the back. Should have probably done that before the belt. So that is the assembly of the weapon block. Now all it's left to do is to plug it in and test it out. I had two of the frame pieces, you know, just to keep it steady during the test. Okay, let's give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so they're obviously fighting against each other, so I just need to switch Telemetry lost. one of these. And I'll mark these later when I do the final wiring. Telemetry recovered. Looks like it's running quite well. battery needs a bit of a charge. Let's give it another try with a fresher battery.
much better. So that concludes the assembly for the weapon block. The next step is to assemble the drive pods. Thanks for watching.